Alrighty then, back once again for another reaction. This time it's Pokemon Bridged, episode 26, Blaze, which I am very sure from the thumbnail is the awesome Charizard vs Magmar episode. Now before I get right into this, there's a skip option obviously, you can go past this, but um, I haven't been posting reactions a lot lately. I'm now recording this on the 13th, uh, the Thursday. Uh, because Pony is right on the doorstep, and I admit that I have been slacking, and uh, I wouldn't say I've been depressed or anything like that, you don't need to worry about me, it's just I've been in a kind of mood where the days are just passing me by, and I'm not really doing anything, and you know, I figured Pony's coming around is just the thing I need to snap me out of that funk and get doing stuff again. I mean, I have been doing stuff, but that's sort of been plodding along with some shenanigan skits, um, spending some gaming time with uh, Fluffy Vixen, as you've seen from the recent video. That was that's fun, um, and I'm also working on potential PMVs for Bronicon and Everfree Northwest. But on the reaction front, I have certainly been slacking, and I'm sorry for that because I know that some of you really want to see this, and. You know, I think if Pony's coming back, I need to be ready, I need to be in the zone again. You know, I think I need the routine of having to do it every week, and then it like sets the wheels in motion, gets the cogs turning, and I'm like a machine that then automatically keeps going. I think when the show... When I've not got a like, long show to be focusing on, like I was able to focus on Ruby and Star vs. the Forces of Evil and stuff, eventually the wheels slow down, and then I shut down. And it's very hard to get the gear starter back up, because it's like, yeah, I could be recording this right now, but I could also be watching these other reactions that I have queued up to the shows I've already watched. And that eats up a load of hours before you even know what's happened. And, yeah. Yeah, it, it needs fixing. Hopefully this is the first step towards fixing it. And hopefully I am back. I am back, ladies and gentlemen. Expect other things aside from MLP Season 7 to be reacted to while it's airing. Obviously it lasts for months. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, uh, today is the uh, start of my return, so hi, I'm back. Please welcome me back, <laughs> if any of you are still here. But yeah, this is Blaze. This is going to be one of those great Charizard episodes, though I'm sure because this is an abridged, it won't go exactly how we expect. But still, this is one of my favourite episodes as a child. <coughs> so I'm looking forward to what they do with it. Let's find out. Just James. I have a very important job for- Oh, nice what to see that? these guys. I got a cat! Meow! Oh. Why? I wanted a cat, so I got a cat. In a way, Makes it's sense. actually more like I got a bunch of humans. It talks. Too bad it's not powerful. Then it's just annoying. Good Persian. Yeah, not like Persian. You are. Boy, stop! You're making me jealous. <clears throat> and a little bit horny. Jake, I have your first assignment ready for you. Ooh, whose Pokemon are we going to steal? No one. You idiots have proven to be too incompetent for such a menial task. Instead, there's a no lie though. I always wanted a Persian right like to, to cuddle it. <laughs> it's a good thing cops don't exist or that it'd sound really bad. We'll tell him that we're gonna steal his Pokemon! But to be clear, you're not. We're gonna steal his Pokemon! That's <laughs> what he'll think! What the f Fine, I don't care, bye! Woohoo! <laughs> can't see! Guys, I don't feel so good. <laughs> no, Meow, not on the carpet! Not on the carpet! Oh, great, cat sick. Not on the carpet! Bad kitty! Bad kitty! We're officially Team Rocket! <laughs> James! <laughs> Why couldn't the actual Team Rocket have Our been as hilarious as this one? Saint Anne, a cruise ship known for its safety. What a nice ride this has been. I'm so glad it didn't sink. Why would you say that? <laughs> I mean, I could make the boat sink if you guys really wanted. Hey, Ash! Huh? Long time I don't doubt it. Smell. You on vacation too? What? No, I still need two more badges. That face, though. Wow, that 
Gary is such a nice guy. I missed him. Who even was that? He is my best friend. What? Of the past. He was my best friend before. Better. Whoa. Hey, kids. Hey, adult. Can you help I can us? already tell you're a stoner type. Oh, man. Me too. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you lived here. Oh, I do. Sir, where do you live? The whole universe is of course. Home. And also this high house. tree hugger in human form. <laughs> oh no, my house! Now I just have the universe to live in. That's really deep. Like me, I'm deep. Mm. Okay, and okay, we get I'm it. sure <laughs> your favorite Pokemon uh, are deep, well, aren't they? Oh, where did he go? Hey, look, he left us a note. He's so smart. Only he can write. Cash. Only by comparison. Only two okay, out of ten people, on average, I'm in this sorry, universe, can write. I'm sorry, but we're just too full here. I'm sorry, but we're just too Hitler here. I'm sorry, too Hitler. But I just don't like you. Guys, that is the best if I don't line. Get some food real quick. I'm going to start getting hungry. I mean, I could cook, but nah. Maybe hmm. those people will let us take their food without their permission. You mean stealing? Oh yeah, I like that. We're a team rocket. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks for giving us food, mister. Whoa. I did give you food. I can't Was there anything in the food? Two houses. Whoa. I have two houses. Being a gym leader must pay really well. Oh my god! <laughs> you must be the fire gym leader! Blade! Oh, oh fire! I would love a huge fan right about now. It's pretty hot up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Root of Volcano! Here I know, right? Tip. There's a tiny opening that liquid can flow out of. It's very warm and... We know what volcanoes are! Oh my god! Oh, I thought he We're was making a penis volcano. joke. We gotta get out of here! Wait, are you a gym leader or not? I don't think so. Oh my god, we're out of volcanoes! <laughs> <laughs> get out of here! Oh my god, we are! Let's battle. Oh, okay. Battle! Choose my penis. Oh, uh, what? My Magmar. I named it my penis. Okay, a nickname. It's funny. <laughs> That's its name now. See, like I when you play the game. After its head, which looks like a butt. Oh, man. Butts used Gus. Oh, well. <laughs> my penis. Use your butt head to head butt. Brilliant. <laughs> GG My penis is hard to beat Oh man, that's funny too Ash, you've got to save your Charizard If it dies, I will literally push you into the volcano with it Oh my god, we're in a volcano <laughs> Why is that so funny Not to me? Being dead, please. <laughs> Just, oh my god <laughs> That's a higher pitched voice than I expected. Finishes my penis off, Charizard! Really? That was always such a cool shot! The slam like, get out of here, bitch! Charizard was the best. It's just a shame that he single-handedly threw Ash's Pokemon League match. I'd have liked to see him lose legitimately, even if it technically was because he wasn't a good enough trainer to command Charizard yet. We're in a volcano! Thanks for visiting me, kids. And thanks to you for the giving me of this badge! You're very welcome. Remember... And remember... Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, where's buddy. The next gym? Words I of wisdom. One more badge, and then I can go to the Pokemon League. Then my mommy will be proud. Then maybe a compliment will happen. Maybe a hug. Maybe. Well, wow. the next gym is way back in Viridian City. Huh? Why didn't I get a badge when I was there last time? Yeah. I guess we <laughs> <laughs> Ash, how are you going to win the Pokemon League if you never actually win battles? I win by not losing. I guess you're not wrong. So all I gotta do is not not win. Then I'll not lose. Oh, don't worry, you I'm won't lose. Your you, Pokemon Ash. will quit. Oh, <laughs> We're all losers. Hey, I, I guess so am I. Who's a cute person? Itty bitty kitty likes it when I scratch you at cheek. Oh, the widow kitty likes to lick his new ring wounds, doesn't he? Me too. Beep. Just like daddy. I love you, Persian. I love you so much. I love you so much, Persian. Dude. <laughs> wow, okay. Hey. Thanks for okay. watching. Wow, okay, that, that was really good. I, I love the running joke of them constantly re-realizing they're in a volcano. I like that they were able to show Charizard doing his awesome move because Charizard deserves that. Like, that was so cool. Especially in the original episode. It's a great idea to make Blaine Stoner. Because he had that hippie look about him. Uh, and I think the personality trait that he had in both the games and the anime was that he liked to tell riddles. But, you know, like, oh, come on. Come on, dude. Stop it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this tree hugger angle for him was really great. Especially, I, c I could imagine her saying something like, the universe is my home. <laughs> uh, yeah, it also was a nice way to tie it into the whole volcano thing. Because Ash was doing it because he was stupid. But Blame was obviously doing it because uh, he's stoned off his ass. So, yeah. A good way to tie that together. Um, Team Rocket's uh, initial origin kind of thing. That was funny. Especially because of Persian the honking cat. And uh, Meow throwing up on the rug like an actual cat. This, this team know how to twist certain things about Pokemon into something a bit more funny than originally, you know, you'd think. It's good. I, I like the way they do this kind of thing. And, yeah, as to the point I brought up about Charizard in the League, uh, I've always understood the purpose of doing that. It was the ultimate way of showing Ash he's got a long way to go when his Pokemon didn't even respect him enough to follow his commands, because Charizard was obviously quite high leveled. But, at the same time, it didn't feel like a proper loss to me. I just saw that as Charizard being a dick, you know, it, it, it's like this thing's built up for Ash to try and see what he's made of in the competition and you just throw it all away for him uh, and that's just not cool and, and he rescued you from dying when you were a Charmander and you don't have that slightest bit of gratitude left in you, uh, like it took him saving him again to earn Charizard's respect. When he got frozen by that polyrath, Ash nursed him back to health and only then did Charizard start respecting him again and listening to him unconditionally. You know, and I... Obviously that leads into the whole thing they even brought up in the show, I think, with why Pikachu rejected turning into Raichu in the Lieutenant Surge Gym episode. It was... I'm sure it was mentioned that a Pokemon might completely change uh, personality or memory or something. Like, so it's not the same personality as it was when it was Charmander. Like, it's like that's a whole other entity that was saved. I hold no debt to you as the form I'm in now, kind of thing. Um, but then other people have said that that was just a one episode thing to bullshit Pikachu out of evolving, and that kind of concept is never brought up again, and all evolved Pokemon retain the exact same memories and personalities, even if the personality changes, they don't change their attitude towards the trainer kind of thing. So, I don't know what Charizard's deal was, unless he was also an exception to the rule like Pikachu was, just for the plot of having to win him over. You know, because otherwise, I 
that's always the worst fight in the series for me. Like, I don't care if Ash stupidly loses against someone, as long as it was legitimate. Like, his Pokemon just up and quitting on him, that doesn't sit with me at all. Especially with the history that Ash had with that particular Pokemon. And that it's extra tragic for me because Charizard is my favourite of Ash's Pokemon. When he comes back, he always fights like a boss. He's a true champion, and he's got that literal fire in his belly. He, he's a warrior, and I love him, but that one fight where he just threw everything away and threw Ash into despair is... I just couldn't get behind that. I really couldn't. Like, of course I don't blame Charizard. I, I blame the writers for making him do that. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like they could have made him lose legitimately. Maybe with Charizard being a bit, um, you know, oh, I'm not bothered kind of thing. He might have actually been beaten by the opponent's Pokemon. You know, th that would have at least sat better with me, because then it would be Charizard's own fault, but it's not like he completely threw the match. It would just... It would be the Ash is not experienced angle done right for me. You know... And anyway, I've spent too long talking about that, but I think this is something I've thought about for years, and this is the perfect stage to just let it out, and so I did that. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> but, either way, uh, I've got another episode to do after this, so uh, for now, I shall be seeing you guys next time. It's good to be back.